I think it's important to do your own DIY work, um, even if you want to work in the film industry, even if you want to get that big deal. Um, you know, I'm not saying Hollywood anymore because what is Hollywood? You know, it's the streamers that are the major powers and production companies and st such. But if you want to work in the industry as a director, right, or whatever, I think it's also important to do your own thing because when people invest in you, then they invest in doors. And if you're looking for money to make a film, you haven't made a film before, well, those people are going to say, well, what have you done? Because anybody can make a film on their fucking phone. Let me see what you've done. Let me see your portfolio. Have you put some time and investment? Have you shown me you've got some sort of vision? So you're going to have to do your own thing anyway, in most cases. It's important to do it, even if you just don't want to do your life with DIY work. If you do want to work in the industry, I think it's important to use this technology today to learn. Obviously, you want to be a filmmaker. You can go and be a filmmaker. Just fucking start doing it, even if it's for you know, as a, to create a showreel so you can show industry people, you know. But also, besides that, to show your skills and to show you get some sort of vision, I think it's important to do that and build somewhere there so that you don't have desperation. There's nothing worse than fucking desperation. There's nothing worse than people looking for money to please fund my vision, to please fund my story. That's when you make bad decisions. That's when you make, uh, you know, when you're desperate, desperate it's the worst call it's the worst place you can be you know and that goes for a lot of things in life whether you're going to fucking relationship whatever <laughs> you want to meet somebody you know it's a big turn off right away whether you're going for an acting role when you're desperate it's a big fucking turn off but i mean that's why i learned my first film because you know i'd done a bad deal you know i wasn't I, ironically i wasn't desperate i was ready to walk but the train had already started moving i'd already had some investors on board cast and crew were already there everybody else was excited and then i got hit with a bad deal so the whole thing got out of control and i had to fucking go um but what i did learn for that and over the years and people i've met and the psychology of myself thinking about it you know and uh, i'd went with some other scripts um a few years later i learned that if you go into a room and you want your movie made and you're just trying to get money all the time and you don't have nothing else to fall back on you're going to be desperate you're going to you're going to concede to certain things financially. You're going to concede to, to creative things on across the board. And, and if you do a bad deal, it can reflect you for the next few years and the rest of your life financially, creatively. You know, making a film that you're completely not happy with and you've got no fucking money from it, you know. So if you're going to a room and you've already started to build your own DIY thing and you're starting to kind of do well with it and you're starting to build an audience and you're starting to, and yeah, you got people, some people, th first thing th th thought will come in in people's heads is, yeah, that takes a lot of effort. <laughs> but it's like, trust me, the amount of effort that it takes to go and try and get an industry movie made that it could take years to get a fucking budget, it could take you five, seven years. It could take, I never get a budget, especially today's world. Um, and then if you get a budget, and uh, if the movie goes out there and doesn't do that well, which mo most movies don't, then you're in director's jail for another five fucking years, and it could take another seven years to get a budget. You know, um, that's the way that this business does anyway. So if you spend a few years and you want to be a filmmaker, make films, make films, build an audience, start to make films, start to make a humble living at it. You know, or your or your side thing is you make a living for corporate videos, whatever the fuck. But then. If you, I've still got ambitions to try the industry as well, which I'm still trying as well, um, but I don't have any desperation for it, then it's a really powerful place to be. It's a good place to be because if you go into your room and you've got a deal in front of you, you go, nah, I need, to, I said I needed, you know, 10 million to do this. I'm not doing it for a fucking million because then I can't really get the film that I've got in the script. But if you're desperate, you go, yeah, I'll do it for 500,000 and I'll do it for fuck all money. And then you're not getting the movie you want. You don't. You, you you commit a lot of time to it, and you know it just doesn't go anywhere. You know, so I think if you go into a room, you're already doing your own thing. You go, well, that was an agreement. That's what we said here. Oh, I looked in the contract. I'm getting shafted here. That wasn't the agreement. Whatever. Do you know what? I'm going to go. I'm continuing to make my own films anyway. Don't fucking need you. It's a good place to be. It's a powerful place to be, where you're not desperate. And that's why now I try some industry stuff because I really don't care about the industry. But if I try it, I'm trying it for a lot of money. It's a little bit like the lottery, so I see some people once in a while, David, could you do this for 500,000? You know, says it's 15 million or whatever. No, bye. <laughs> could you do this for that? No, I'm not desperate. I can make a fucking movie. I don't need your 500,000. You know, I'd rather make my fucking 20 grand movie and I'll probably be better because I'm controlling it. So that's why it's important to do your own stuff as well, so that you're no desperate. There's nothing fucking worse. 
Um, even if you've got the ambitions to try and work in the industry as well, it's so important to get your own thing done. And if it never happens in the industry, what's well, a good chance it'll not because the world has changed so much and it's kind of it's so unattractive as well because you've got to create this film for that market or whatever. If it never happens, at least you've got your own audience you're built. You know, if you were born into a time like this, I was born into a time not that long ago when I made my first movie, you could not send fucking files over the internet. You could not even send a picture over the internet, never made fucking sell a movie on there. That just did not exist not that long ago. Um, you could not edit a movie on your laptop and fucking home. Um, my first movie I had to go to a facility house and there's an editor there and the facility house was a higher place and everything else. So in the time that we're living with all this wonderful technology, this amazing technology that frees you and you are a filmmaker at this time and you don't use that technology there's something not quite fucking right you're doing it for the wrong reasons you're pursuing it for the wrong reasons you're just thinking about the big hollywood budget you're just thinking about the razzmatazz you're just thinking about the fame and all that shit and you're not going to last long with that anyway you have to be a filmmaker you know as i've watched some filmmakers i watched an interview with a one of the shoes brothers the other day they done the the Book of Eli with Denzel Washington and Gary Oldman and he still makes shots and films and edits his own stuff because there's such a big gap between Hollywood films if they ever happen so anyway but that's the main reason not just to learn your skills not just to make films with no budgets but so you're not desperate when you go in front of those fucking executives those greedy fat fucking executives with the cigars that want to shaft you in every fucking hole you know which is fine. You get shafted, you know, in deals and money and creativity. But you have to know when to compromise and know, know when to compromise. And if they're crossing the fucking line, you can go, fuck you. I'm, I'm going to go make Psycho Sex Dolls fucking four. Don't need this shit. Bye. See you later. Oh, you want to do the deal now? Fuck it. Yeah, let's do it. You know, it's a good, it's a better place to be, you know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh... In the post-production with Cycle Sex Dolls, a film that I made in November, just finishing it. If you're interested in seeing it, check out the Kickstarter, where there's a pre-launch page you get to see early, or check out the website, you know, or if you just want to watch more videos, please subscribe to this channel, give it a like, and give it a subscription, uh, press the subscription button, appreciate it. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.